So one of the most customizable custom ROM named as Project Infinity X has been updated to the latest version, which is 3.4. Based on the latest Android version with the latest security update, we are using this one. With this new update, we have some of the changes, which in this video we'll talk about that. So make sure to watch this video till the end because this new update brings you some more changes and many more things. If you move on to the quick settings panel customizations as quickly as possible, you will see some options, some tweaks related to quick setting tiles shape. Same thing or kind of similar thing which you get in C Android custom room, which I made a video just a few hours ago. It was just so good in the terms of the UI in quick settings panel, Android 11 inspired the quick setting tile, same with Android 16 now. Similar thing uh, you are also getting with this custom room named as Project Infinity X. What about else? What about other things? You can simply resize the tiles and then make it look like Android 11 style because we already using the circle to sh uh, circle shape for these quick setting tiles and everything else is just kind of similar. You can adjust the rows, columns and many more things to make it look like that. Although not everyone is a fan of these kind of things. So if you don't like it, you can skip this thing because it's not enabled by default and it's not like a one click option. So you can simply skip this thing. We also have the support for ambient wallpapers to show lock screen wallpaper on ambient display only for the users. If you use always on display. Next one is related to spoofing. So we have the custom game props JSON file. So Effectively, you have the option, some uh, options related to game spoofing. If you do, if you do use these kind of things, it's available here for you. One more thing is if you move on to the display options, you have the option to control the blur intensity, which is a very useful thing. This might be a very useful thing for some of the people, uh, for some of the users. If you don't want to use it, you can skip this thing. We also have the per app refresh rate option available, which might be useful for you also. If you move on to theming options, some icon pack options are already there. But one thing is we have the oxygen OS icon pack back with this latest update. And I'm not so sure if you use this thing or not. But as I just told you, I just wanted to let you know which are the things available with this new update. Shake gestures are also back. So you can use this thing to take screenshot, toggle the torch, which might be useful actually. Toggle the volume panel or search assistant or many more things which you can go and explore by using these features. We also have some extra tweaks related to edge lighting. If you use this feature, then we have some tweaks available here too, where you can customize the color mode, animation effect and so on. One of the things which you are definitely going to love is ongoing progress chip, which is actually now renamed. It was actually named as status bar action chip. Now it is named as ongoing progress chip, but it brings you a lot more extra tweaks in this case. For example, you can change the horizontal position, vertical position and much more things. Everything else is just kind of similar like the custom room has a lot of features, a lot of customizations for you. You can customize the fonts, icon pack, wallpaper based theming options are also there where you can enable the wallpaper blur and so on. So there are tons of things available in this case. We have the option to customize the settings UI. We have the option to customize some more things. Things are just super exciting in this one. A lot of features, a lot of customization. So if you're into customization, if you're into features, if you're looking forward to one of the custom rooms with a lot of features and customizations, Project Infinity X is one of the options available for you. So go and explore this thing. These were things just wanted to let you know. Hope you like this video. If you like this, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next one. Take care.